Are you recording me? No. Okay, don't record me. Okay. Ready? Like you're recording you're me. It, like you're doing it, right? No, Thank no, you don't hold that. That's just for you. You shouldn't even do the shot. So, it's just in front of me. <laughs> you're going to record me, and then you're going to... No! Put this... How do I know you're not recording me? Huh? What do you mean? I, you know if I'm recording you. How do I know? Okay. Sit down. No, tell me how... Sit no. down. Sit down. I'm not dumb. I have to test the sound. Sit down. Well, then I'll test, we'll test it on you. No, because I have to run the teleprompter. You know how to do that. <clears throat> Alright, so you're gonna make like you're the news person. Alright. What do I look at? The camera or the teleprompter? Well, I mean, if you can look at the camera itself. My eyes are squinty. If you didn't do that, but just look at the My eyes are squinty because it's too bright for me. That's okay. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't Come got on, it. Go. You're the news guy. Okay. Just straight, smile, here we go. I'm treating you like I treat the kids. <laughs> All right, posture, smile, T, FCT. <laughs> this is not me. All right, you're looking to your left. Thanks, guys. All right, and three, two, one, go. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> run through it. I got to make sure the script is good. Thanks, guys. A big game here in Alvarado had its ups and downs as Alvarado took on the Stephenville Yellow Jackets. Jackets on the one-yard line. QB sneak and it, number two gets it in easy. Indians defense now taking... <laughs> <laughs> Indians defense now taking yeah. offensive rookie number 11. Comes off the edge and makes the sacks. The sacks? Yep, makes a sack. Indians now in the red zone, and Kenny dumps it to Leger. That should be capital. Leger for the touchdown. Then McNeil gets another touchdown for the Indians, which put them in the lead. Alvarado stops the Jackets at the one-yard line and forces them to kick. Jackets get stopped and fumble on the one-yard line, and the offense gets the ball now back. I'm just reading. Oh. Life. And, and Lee Hardy delivers. Towards the end of the game, McCarver throws the interception, which ensures the Jackets win by oh, by them kneeling the ball. Are we good? Are you recording me? Uh, take two. Ready? <clears throat> All right. That's a long sentence. There you go. Jacket get, uh, <clears throat> Jackets get stopped and fumble on the one-yard line, and the offense gets the ball back, and Lee Hardy delivers. Towards the end of the game, McCarver throws the interception, which ensures the Jackets win by them kneeling the ball. The Indians kept up with the 4A state caliber team. This was a big test to see where we are at. This week, the Indians play Glen Rose. Come out and support the boys as we take on the Tigers. The Alvarado Run and Indians had their district meet yesterday at Dinosaur Valley Park. The varsity boys team competed for their third district championship in a row. The Varsity Girls had a very good chance of winning the Girls Championship as well. The results will be on the next episode, but but you know... But you know how we do. But you know how we do. Go Indians! Okay, that's about all I got. There's a little bit left. Oh, gosh. Finish strong. On Tuesday, the Indian tennis team ran into the 15th-ranked Willis Point uh, tennis team. Willis Point kept Alvarado from going to the team state in 2009. Although Willis Point team showed their strength in the girls' doubles, winning two or three matches... Your tennis team overtook them 13 to 6. Congratulations, team, and great win. The girls' volleyball had a huge win yesterday against Venus. It was a sensational game. I know, I was there. The girls brought the boom to the Bulldogs about the billion, about a billion times. The Lady Indians are now in the playoffs. Come and support them as they make their run. Back to you, Austin and Sarah. Okay. Jeez, if that's not me, I would, I would be the person behind the scenes. <laughs> Don't put that on the res. <laughs> you want to see me do it? Yes, do it professionally. You have to hit F6. F6 does what? It controls it. Down? Yeah, and then press F6 again to stop. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. I don't see you. What? Oh, you're not. I don't see you? No, it's just that. Oh. You're see. just running that, F6. Oh, so you weren't recording. Huh? I told you. I thought you were recording me. You said not to. I know. You think I, I would do that? I do it anyways. And then put it on the res and make fun of me. That would be mean. It would be funny, though. It would be funny.
It would be funny. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Thanks, guys. A big game here in Alvarado has its ups and downs. Alvarado took on the Stephenville Yellow Jackets. Jackets on the one-yard line, QB sneak, and number two gets it in easy. Indians defense, now taking offense rookie number 11, comes off the edge and makes the sack. Indians now in the red zone, and Kenny dumps it to Ledger for the touchdown. Then McNeil gets another touchdown for the Indians, which puts them in the lead. Alvarado stops the Jackets at the one-yard line and forces them to kick. Jackets get stopped and fumble on the one-yard line, and the offense gets the ball back, and Lee Hardy delivers. Towards the end of the game, McCarver throws the interception, which ensures the Jacket win by, kneeling, by them kneeling the ball. The Indians kept up with, with a 4A caliber state team. This was a big test to see where we are at. This week, the Indians play Glen Rose. Come out and support us as we take on the Tigers. The Alvarado Running Indians had their district meet yesterday at Dinosaur Valley Park. The varsity boys team competed for their third district championship in a row. The varsity girls team has a very good chance of winning the girls championship as well. Results will be in the next episode, but you know how we do. Go Indians! On Tuesday, the Indians tennis team ran into... Yeah, on Tuesday, the Indians, Indian tennis team ran into the number 15 ranked Willis Point tennis team. Willis Point kept up with Alvarado from going... Okay, Willis Point kept Alvarado from going to Team State in 2009. Although the Willis Point team showed their strength in girls doubles winning two of the three matches, your tennis team overtook them 13-6. Congratulations, team, and great win. Girls volleyball team had a big win against Venus yesterday. It was a sensational game. I know. I was there. The girls brought the boom to the Bulldogs about a billion times. The Lady Indians are now in the playoffs. Come support them as they make their playoff run. Back to you, Austin and Sarah. That's how you do them.